Seabay is a construction company in the Netherlands developing and selling 3D printers for construction. My name is Jared Gross and I've been following the automated construction industry as closely as I can. Here's a video of the Seabay CEO and founder, Barry Hendricks, on a video call with me for an episode of the Automate Construction Podcast. In this highlights video, we're just going to take a look at the printers that Seabay is currently building to ship out, how the printer drives to each location on site, reinforcement methods, permitting, electrical, the concrete mixer, and a demolished wall that was tested for its strength, along with a little clip of Barry's philosophy on life. And currently, for example, uh, are building the uh, four of them. Uh, one will shortly go to Australia, another one goes to Paraguay, another one goes to Qatar, and another one goes to Morocco. Wow, that's exciting. Um, yeah. So I don't know whether you can see them here. Yeah, I can see pretty well. Uh, that one uh, goes to uh, uh, Melbourne, then that one goes to Paraguay. We will deliver them in September to a construction company in Morocco and to a university in Qatar. Here you can see the fixed edition of their printer for 150,000 euros. And here's the MOBA version that starts at 180,000 euros. With extras and add-ons, the cost of the printer can easily double. Seabay, being a construction company, has done an excellent job demonstrating the investment opportunity and ROI of their various models. For more on that, get in touch with them on their website at the link in the description. Here's a look at some of the projects that have already been completed around the globe utilizing their technology. This wall, um, I don't know whether you can see it um, here, uh, yes. there is reinforcement in it. So this is something we've done back in 2015, uh, printing with reinforcement cables. Back then in the research together with the University of Eindhoven, so we provided how we did it, and they picked it up and based on that printed the bridge. Here you've got uh, the handles, I don't know, do you see? Yeah. Here we've got handles to drive uh, it manually, either on a construction site or on a truck. And then um, these handles are for the three legs um, to raise it and level it. Uh, there is a uh, self-leveling system so that it's going to be leveled automatically. Then after the, um, uh, uh, the digital model is being connected with the real world, um, it's about pressing play and then it's going to print. And then that can either be done um, by uh, sacks of 25 kg or there is a system to place, for example, on the mixing system, uh, uh, their um, mixing system with big bags. And then you've got directly one ton of material and you can print. There was an entire wall standing there. And with a research institution, uh, they tested it uh, together with, with Venom Bulls. And um, in the end, it was like twice as strong. And then it's a Eurocode a structural design by testing. Uh, a um, municipality can permit it. That's one way uh, when, for example, such a wall element and the connections, uh, they don't comply with any standards. Here, uh, that's actually the, the, the leftover of that wall. Uh -huh. um, another way is make sure that you design and engineer a wall so that it uh, complies with standards. For example, the building in Dubai, uh, we got it permitted um, because in every wall there was a concrete column and a concrete beam. And then actually you've got a standard RC uh, reinforced concrete uh, structure, which is quite common. Uh, there is a, a certain floor system that a company here in the Netherlands has developed, um, which by within what, just one week uh, they can uh, build out. So they can excavate and then um, build and pour the concrete with the reinforcement and insulation wiring. Um, and then a week after we can start assembling the rest of the building and then connect like plug and play, uh, the electricity wiring, etc. Now that we've seen what Seabay has already accomplished in the past and is currently working on, Let's take a look at what they're going to be working on in the future. A lot of the people in my audience are from India. And in India particularly, they're interested in G plus 3, G plus 5, and G plus 7 apartment complexes. 
Here's a G plus 7 building designed by Seabay that can hopefully be built at some point in the future. If this technology proves cost effective in India at the scale of G plus 7 housing, the potential for Seabay and automated construction is enormous. Design is a huge component of the power of Seabay and their technology. Utilizing design that can emulate traditional construction methods and even old architectural plans is a way that they can make permitting much easier and cost effective. Also, by printing modular units, they're able to test one for its structural engineering elements, then print out as many as they want, which creates huge value in economies of scale. Here's a look at a basic floor plan. This floor plan could be constructed with modular wall units. If you were to put a bunch of modular wall units together, it would ultimately look something like this, with the gray portions being the modular units that Seabay can 3D print in concrete. For bonus points, you could add other modular units that complement the design and aesthetics of the building. That way, each person could have something a little bit unique and make it feel custom. Even with this technology, in its current stages, there's so much potential open for the realm of design. It's going to be critical for designers to come up with new ideas to implement in this emerging space, as the possibilities are almost endless and have yet to be explored. I worked at my father's company. I built a, a big office building. Uh, I was studying for two days. I did a master's degree at the University of Eindhoven. And actually, I thought, oh, maybe I can take over this company. But then it will take me 10 years to have taken over the company. There, I need to work together with directors, etc. And then I thought, nah, this is not what I like. Uh, so then I thought, what is really important in life, in my life, as well as in yours and in other ones? I want to have fun. I want to do amazing stuff. I'm building an office building. Eventually, I was 23, was not that amazing anymore because more office buildings are being built. And if you've done one, the second and the third is always the same. Uh, so that's not amazing. Um, stay happy. Um, I can have fun every evening to go to the bar and drink beers. Uh, but on the long run, that doesn't make me happy. Uh, so it should be in balance and live long. So live a healthy life. Um, so actually, um, I figured out that slogan. It's in everywhere, uh, in our emails, on our website, um, our team. Uh, and we're always having meetings, one-on-ones -on -ones every month. Are we still doing amazing stuff? Uh, do we have fun? Seabay's motto is to have fun, be amazing, stay happy, and live long by living a healthy lifestyle. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, and maybe check out some of my other videos where I tour 3D printed buildings and talk with industry experts that are leading the way in construction automation.